Hey, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking Body Beat down here, Michael. How's everybody out as everybody? Well, we had an unplanned day off from school today. We had tornadoes and storms roll through and flooding and everything else. So uh, we had the day off. Uh, having said that, I wish I kind of would have worked out earlier today, but I don't usually work out early. So here we are, normal time, same old time, getting it done. I have a schedule and that's just kind of what I stick to. So uh, we're going to be doing some basic sitting shoulder presses today with a barbell. Um, we got 95 ready to go. Now those of you that have watched my previous videos where I do these, you know that I typically use my safeties uh, to hold the bar and everything. That way when I'm sitting down I can roll the bar up to my chin, up to my face and press it without having to move from my seat at all. However, my safeties have seen better days. Matter of fact, there's some of it right there. Uh, they're held on. I got them kind of held on with vice grips. Both of them, they're just, they're not good. They're not stable. So they are here just for just in case. Uh, so now having to use my J hooks, my new J hooks, I have to kind of go up to the bar a little bit and that takes a little bit more effort and it's not as good to me. So I don't know what I'm going to go up to and I wasn't even going to do a video today. I was just going to do a clip if I did anything great. So uh, we'll do a video anyway. We're going to warm up and again we approach our warm ups like we would if this was 500 pounds. You want to make sure that you do things right and start right and then that goes into your later sets. So let's do something. So I am up really close here, <clears throat> really close, so it's really, really, really close, and uh, hopefully we'll do a good, a good workout. for me to be hitting my J hooks, but I am up really close like I like. And uh, so we're gonna do the best we can, guys. Hope you stick around and enjoy, and I hope I inspire you in some way to do something healthy for yourself. <clears throat> 135. <clears throat> We got 185. Thank <laughs> you. 
shoulder press that you just seen a couple things number one again the way I usually have that set up I'm using my spotter arms to hold the bar and everything but with my J hooks you know I got to use my J hooks and so I got to move the rack out so I can push my bench in a little bit to get the bar kind of where I need it because I can't move the bar so I got to move me to the bar so I'm having to move that out and the rack actually moved a little bit while I was pressing some of the heavy stuff so but that ain't a big deal uh, something else. Also, you'll notice the bar was kind of hitting the J-hooks a couple of times, which made me for sure had to not go any lower than, you know, here. Uh, and on another note, same topic, same topic, same thing. It's hard for me to go lower than about this area right here, maybe lower than my chin. With my scar tissue and all that in my arm, in my right arm especially, um, right now it's not aggravated and hadn't been aggravated now for about a month probably. And the lower I go with that kind of weight, the more it pulls on this whole side. And that's where all the scar tissue and all the mess is. I know I got some lumps and kind of stuff off in there that you can feel. And it, it's hot and it burns and it feels like stuff's ripping apart. And uh, it's been like that for a few years now. And uh, so if I go any lower, like I know some people swear that, you know, you got to touch the bar to your chest, to your top of your chest or something like that. I can't do that. Uh, I'm not going to risk damaging this further or aggravating it and it affecting my entire day, my workouts, my sleep, because it gets to hurting so bad I can't even sleep. So you got to compromise a little bit. Number one, I'm not in competition with nobody but myself. So if I was in competition, would these li would my would my lift matter? Would it count? I have no idea. I'm not in competition. In my house, in my gym, it counts. Uh, another reason why I don't snap my elbows in half whenever I extend on the extension, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to reach way up here. If it's a if it's a light light weight, I don't mind going out a little further. But the heavier weight that you get, I don't want that kind of pressure on my elbows and my tendons. So I keep it. I don't go much further than that right there. I keep a little bend in my arm. Just like with your legs, technically you're not supposed to lock your knees out. I don't want to lock my elbows out. You may want to, I don't. Uh, and I don't know if that's all I wanted to touch on, but it might be. But yeah, the tissue problem, the hitting that, I think that's about it. 
Now, a lot of you aren't even going to make it to this point to even see my explanation of these things. You're going to watch the first couple uh, lists and be like, oh, my God, in the comments, dude, you're not doing four-inch motion, drop and quit eagle lifting. If you made it to this point, you would understand kind of where I'm at. So uh, another thing, let me touch on the most important thing. I got a PR. I finally got my 275 shoulder press. It wasn't super pretty. I ended up kind of standing up in my chair, in my bench kind of. But, hey, I think that's kind of a little bit more difficult. You know, I'm doing two things at once. I'm sitting and I'm standing with it. But if you'll notice, whenever I lowered it down, I came down slow. I didn't like slam it and give up. I did my extension, you know, I went out and then I brought it down slow and I got it in my J-hooks and I, I took it easy on the, on the descent, on the bottom part. So I wanted to do that and make sure I had full control. So for me, I got a, a new PR. Now, if I was in competition, my lift would probably drop 50 pounds. You know, it probably would drop a good, a good bit if I had to compete. Uh, but I'm not in competition, like I said. So uh, for me and what I'm doing in my life, uh, I'm proud of what I've done. My PR that I had many moons ago back in 2010 was 245, and I've surpassed that uh, by a bit. And uh, I can even do three reps with 245 now. So um, I didn't do two reps today with it. I mean, I didn't do three reps today with it, but I have done three reps. So uh, anyway, good shoulder workout, and I hope you enjoyed it and got a little inspiration. I got to get my back exercise, my back, whatever going and get it done and uh get some supper in me i've ate pretty good today i've ate a couple of different little small portions along the way my uh, today so feeling pretty good anyway guys like share subscribe comment all that good stuff to the body beat down that's me michael your incredible host who's doing incredible things over here in the gym all right get up get out get red do it to it be awesome stay awesome do something healthy for yourself inside and out Okay? We'll see you next time on the Body Beat Down. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!